Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update about my Sculptra procedures. So if you guys don't know what Sculptra is, it is a filler, it's an injectable that is done by either plastic surgeons or a dermatologist. I had heard about it through Dr. Chi on my podcast when she was a guest. She's a dermatologist here in Southern California and I was very intrigued because I'm 33 years old and I'm starting to notice a couple things on my face that happens when you're in your 30s and there's nothing wrong with it but it was a couple things that I just felt that my facial treatments and creams topically weren't doing enough and I would really like to try some sort of procedure and see what it was like. So I discuss a little bit more about my history, my genetics and why I wanted to try Sculptra, but I'll go over about it a little bit here. I also wanted to update you guys because I'm officially done with all three sessions. It is recommended to do at least three sessions with a six to eight week period in between each session. I will link the original video where you can see the first time I ever get it done. It's the first time I've ever had any sort of injectables, any sort of fillers, anything, any sort of needle going into my skin, into my face. I was really nervous and when I found out I had to do it three times, that kind of gave me a little bit of a panic, but I am officially done with those three procedures and I am seeing a lot of progress and a lot of improvement and I'm gonna sh insert footage and photos as well for you guys to kind of see. Hi guys, today is August 16th, 2017 and I had my second bout of Sculptra injections. This is the second out of three that I'm doing in a series of three to help with any of the sagging in my skin and to help my skin, or actually help my face, regenerate and grow its own collagen. So that's what Sculptra is supposed to do and Dr. Chi talked about it over on my podcast as well as I inserted that information in the first video where I walk you through the entire process and why I decided to go get Sculptra done. I am 33 years old so this is not something I am like yes everyone should go do. This is something I've looked at and considered and have thought about. So I'm home now. I have nothing on my face. I did my second massage of the day. After you get Sculptra done, you have to massage your face five times a day for five days at five minutes each. So last time, the first video I did about this, I walked you through the why, the how, and the process, and kind of what I was told about it. This time, I'm gonna share with you guys like my actual experience after the process. The process went by a lot faster this time, mainly probably because both Dr. Chi and I knew what to expect. She already knew where she had placed the needles the first time and the fillers the first time. And then this time around, we did add a little bit more on my jawline because that is something that I have noticed as age. This is the area that I'm very concerned about diminishing and I have like no jawline typically. So this immediately lifted this area and created more of a jawline. This area is where I noticed a lot of the jowl sagging happening. So she did inject around here and then around here to lift. What's gonna happen is this is in here. I can feel it when I do my massages. It feels crunchy, it feels filled with something, it feels foreign, it feels really bizarre and weird. And as after the five days, I don't feel it anymore in my face because your body does absorb it. But what it's supposed to do with Sculptra is that it's supposed to stimulate your own collagen growth and the collagen will start to produce where the Sculptra was injected. So this is a more long-term process. And for someone in my age range, it's good to start young because my body is going to regenerate a little bit better and more effectively and quicker than someone maybe in their mid to late 40s or older. So while this seems a little extreme for someone my age, it's also a great time if you're trying to do preventative and if you were interested. So I am really happy. I think it looks really good. You can see that there are little needle marks and that's typically what happens with me. I don't bruise a lot but I do get weird, bizarre little needle marks. It's not that bizarre, it's where the needle goes in. Good morning guys, it is officially Wednesday, the 27th of September. Up bright and early for my final session of Sculptra. Apply the numbing cream all over my face. Ooh, I'm feeling it around my mouth. 
because last time we didn't get this area as much and then Dr. Chi went in there and I was like, cool, <laughs> please come back today. They, I'm just gonna sit here for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. This doesn't like, it just helps with the first few shots because once the shots go in there is lidocaine so it's not as painful, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill out here with white cream on my face. You can see this bruise is pretty intense today. Hopefully it'll be gone soon. Um, and I have a bruise here. Not bad, not bad at all. Looks pretty good. So for me, I noticed I don't really have wrinkles. Um, my pigmentation issues are pretty much under control and I don't really break out that often. I do when I'm stressed, my diet's bad, and um, if I use a product that irritates me, I can get a couple minor breakouts, but nothing horrible. But I did start to notice that this area of my face, the jowls, started to droop. And I noticed it in photos specifically, and I noticed it in videos. Now, it wasn't drastic, and it wasn't anything that you guys might have been like, oh, she's got jowls. It was because I know my own face and I look at it all the time. Knowing that was slowly happening and knowing that that's how my mom aged and knowing that that's how my sister and my brother are aging, they're quite a bit older than me, and also knowing that that's how everyone on my mom's side ages, male or female, I got a little panicky. I had a moment when I was like, oh my god, I'm 33 years old and my jowls are starting to show. And I don't think there's a cream for that. So. I didn't really think I was going to do anything about it. To be completely honest, I never thought I would ever get fillers. I was kind of against it. Not for other people, but I was against it because I just didn't think that I would ever feel the need to get injections. I felt like I don't want Botox because I don't have wrinkles. I don't have fine lines, really. I have very minimal fine lines under my eyes. Um, I hate needles, I hate pain, and I just didn't feel the need to. My mom never had anything done, my mom's never even seen an esthetician, my sister didn't have anything done, but I started to panic a little bit. And to be completely honest here, I'm 33 years old, I'm finally comfortable telling you guys my age, because what I'm not gonna hide it, I wasn't hiding my age, but I feel kind of old on YouTube, and I know I'm not. I'm not the oldest on YouTube, um, and I think that that sucks that I feel that way and that it is kind of like a young person's game. I'm who I am. Take it or leave it. It's my thoughts on things. It just, you know, I started to feel old, and it's not anything other than the combination of losing my mom, feeling like if I want kids, I need to kind of think about it in the next few years because, you know, as women, we only have so much time to have kids, and then noticing that I'm just, my jowls were falling. Um, so I also just never wanted to look like anyone other than myself, because that's my biggest fear, is that I go to the doctor's office, I come back, and people are like, ooh, you got work done. I wanted to look natural. I met Dr. Chi at a La Roche-Posay event. She was consulting for them as a dermatologist, talking about sun protection and sun care. And I was like, please come to my podcast studio. I would love to have you on the podcast. You're so knowledgeable. I haven't had a doctor yet. So she came on. We chatted about everything and anything that had to relate to dermatology and she told me about Sculptra because I asked her, I was like, you know, this is starting to fall and I just don't know what to do because this isn't Botox. Like I don't need Botox for jowls. That wouldn't fix it. What can I do? Like would fillers work? But I feel like I don't want my cheeks to fill up. 
So she had mentioned Sculptra and then she had also said that she did Sculptra herself. And Dr. Chi looks amazing. She's in her 40s, she's had two kids and she has an amazing career and I was like, you've done this? And she's like, well yeah, I've done it. I've done everything that I do because I want to know what my patient is going through. And I was like, oh my gosh, you look so natural though, like in a good way, she looks amazing. And she's like, yeah, well I've had Sculptra. And so I was like, okay, let me, and she explained to me a little bit more that it is a filler and it promotes, but it promotes my natural collagen growth. So it's natural, natural helps you kind of regrow what is already there or what was already there but you start losing it as you get older and I was kind of the perfect age because I'm still young enough where my body can reproduce this quite easily so I might see better results and it's also great for preventative because since I know this is how I'm gonna age I can prevent it well it, it's gonna happen but I can like prolong it and I was like, okay, okay. Well, Sculpture is probably one of the most painful injections you can do. I asked her about it. She says Botox and everything else is a lot less painful. And unlike Botox and Rejuvederm or some of the other like initial immediate fillers, Sculptra is gonna require three to four sessions your first round. I didn't know this going in because I didn't have a consultation, an actual consultation in office, I just booked an appointment with her. I started going in and getting the injections and so I was like, oh, okay, so that kind of sucks because I was prepared to pay for one round and then maybe like another round in a couple years. I wasn't realizing that I had to pay for three rounds. So just be aware of that and I think most of you guys would be told this at the doctor's office. I just went about it kind of a roundabout way. It wasn't Dr. Chi's fault whatsoever, it was just kind of the way it happened. Just be prepared that you have to go in three times minimum between with six to eight weeks in between each session. And you want to be on top of it because that I think is the best way to see the results. The first session, you can see an immediate difference, but then when I went in for the second session, I have to say that my second session was an immediate, immediate difference that lasted a lot longer. I felt like because the collagen was already kind of there, not drastically, like I definitely felt like after the first session I kind of looked like I used to look because the collagen hadn't fully grown in yet. But after the like boost of the second session, I definitely felt like everything just felt more lifted and the um, recovery process was a lot quicker. I didn't bruise really at all the second session. We actually went to Vegas and I just didn't wear makeup because I had to massage my face five times a day. The recovery process is you have to massage your face five times a day for five days after your Sculptra. So that can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because of the fact that you kind of have to like schedule your day to go into the bathroom and massage your face for five minutes. The reason being is you wanna make sure you smooth out the collagen or the Sculptra so that it's smooth and it doesn't have any weird bumps and that it's like being um, stimulated and all that stuff. I was very diligent about my massages and the grossest thing, I'm being full disclosure, the grossest thing was you could feel where the Sculptra injection was as you're massaging it and that's what you're trying to like smooth out and so it was just kind of gross to like feel where all the little injections were and I felt it most on my cheeks. I didn't feel it so much around here but definitely on my cheeks and the second session was probably the easiest for me. It wasn't as painful, the recovery was a lot easier and I didn't bruise at all and there wasn't very much blood. Now the third session I felt was really quick, but from Chris's perspective, he said she was actually more aggressive with the third session because it was my last one. And I still felt there was a there's like two little lines that are darker and that could I don't think it's a wrinkle. I think it could just be from my toothpaste when I used to use traditional toothpaste. It just caused this like permanent darkness right here. So she went a little bit more aggressive there and she did carve out my jawline a little bit more so she apparently was more aggressive with the needles there was a little bit of bleeding and I did bruise pretty hard right here but not so bad that I couldn't cover it with makeup and feel okay so my final like thing my collagen is still growing I'm not fully grown in yet but after my three sessions and this is like a week after a week and a half after my final session 
I definitely feel like my entire face is lifted and a little bit more youthful. I definitely do not notice the drooping of my jowls at all anymore. And the only thing I'm still kind of like iffy about is right here because I do feel like I either need to work on the pigmentation issue here or maybe get one more little session just to lift the corners of my mouth. And that could just be because my natural resting face is like frowny. My lips like fall down. So it could just be 33 years of that. Now do I think it's worth it? The hard question because I, if I didn't know about this procedure, I probably would be okay and live my life and be just as happy. I don't think having it or not having it has made me happier or not happy. I think I feel a little bit more confident about where I'm going in terms of aging because I'm like, okay, I'm preventing or I'm slowing down the process a little bit. I don't ever think I'm gonna slow it down permanently. I wouldn't want that, I would look weird. I feel like my face looks more like how I feel maybe. I feel like the last year of my life, year and a half of my life was pretty rough um, in terms of just like, it was just, it was, it, war and tour at me so I definitely feel like I aged the most the last year and a half just emotionally mentally and it shows on my face so I think it just kind of like overall gave me back those years the last two years of my life is that funny I would say if you had the money and the means and you wanted to try it I don't have anything bad to say about it. I think it is effective. I think it does do a good job for what I was wanting it to do. And I'm really happy that I still look like me. And nobody really knows I had it done other than that I'm putting it on the internet and I fully tell people. Like I tell my sister, I tell my brother, and they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, isn't it cool? And they can't even tell the difference. But it's not about what other people see, it's about what I see. And I think there's a difference and there's enough of a difference that I feel like I'm happy with it, but not so much of a difference where I feel like I'm not myself anymore. And Chris, who sees me every day, says that he definitely sees a difference. And he sees that my jawline is more chiseled, he sees that my jowls are definitely more lifted, and that he, and he says he's happy with it and he not that he wanted me to have it like he actually didn't care either way he, he supports me no matter what I choose but he was actually really worried I was gonna look not like me and he's totally happy with it because he's like it still looks like you and I'm like don't you think it could be more and he's like no because you won't look like you in terms of the pain level it's not pleasant it's not pleasant whatsoever I don't like needles I managed to get through three sessions I mean, I, f I nearly had a panic attack when I got my tattoo, and it's not that bad. Here's the thing, I think in your mind you think it's worse than it is until you do it, and then you're kind of like, well, we started, we can't stop, do you know what I mean? And Dr. Chi says that nobody has ever stopped a session, which means even if it's uncomfortable and kind of painful, there's, it's not enough for you to stop doing it. And you might cry, you might tear. Like I, I tear whenever she does like this area, but even when um, estheticians go in and do extractions, I start tearing. So it's totally doable. They do take care of you. They numb your entire face. They make sure it's topically numbed. And then the first two shots are the worst, but once the initial shots happen in those areas. There's lidocaine mixed in, which numbs the rest of the area, so you don't feel it as much. Not something I'm like, yay, yeah, it's nothing, go do it, no. Like, it is not pleasant. I'm being honest, it's not pleasant. It's not something I wanna do all the time, but I'm very happy with the results, and I would be happy to do it again in maybe, maybe like two years. So the difference also is Sculptra versus other fillers is that because it is your natural collagen growth, it's going to last a bit longer. It's going to last up to two, three years, depending on your body and how old you are and, you know, your cells. So it's a little bit more of a permanent situation, whereas I've had friends who got Rejuvederm and other types of fillers, and they've had to, their body metabolizes that pretty quickly, anywhere between six to eight months. Some people say that they can make it last 
um, 11 to 12 months. So while Botox, Rejuvederm, and some of the other fillers are a little bit cheaper because you only have to do it once to get the results and you have to do Sculpture three times, in the long run, Sculpture comes out to be more cost effective because of it lasting longer, whereas you would have to do Botox, Rejuvederm, and all that more frequently to keep up the results. So that is the whole spiel in terms of cost. I know a lot of people ask me how much I paid. I paid about $9.50 a session. I paid completely myself from my savings. Yeah. So this wasn't sponsored. This wasn't like I didn't get a discount or anything. This wasn't covered by my health insurance. Um, I have pretty shitty health insurance, in fact. So even I don't, and health insurance doesn't cover that stuff. So I mean, health insurance didn't even cover this thing I had to have removed on my ankle. It was like a keloid that I thought was cancerous. Um, it wasn't cancerous, but we did like remove it because it was kind of gross and it kept morphing and growing funny those are pretty much my thoughts um I don't know I know you guys probably are looking at photos and being like oh it's not that big of a difference for the cost but I didn't do it for you I didn't do it for Chris I didn't do it for anybody I did it for myself and how I felt and you know the past the past year has really been kind of shitty and this helped me feel a little bit more awake um i don't know and some people might say i shouldn't have done it because of all the stuff i've gone through but i don't know i i feel really happy with it i love dr chi i trust her to tell me no i trust her to not go too far with it i want to look natural i still want to look like me so hopefully you guys can tell the difference and see the results without seeing like a huge drastic change because it's a fine line. It's a very, very fine line. This was a really chatty video. Kind of cool too because I did want to know, like I didn't judge people who got fillers, but I definitely questioned why they would do it. Um, because to me, I never saw anybody that I knew that did it that needed it. But I also was always fascinated with it and curious and I don't think there's anything wrong with doing something that makes you feel better about yourself as long as you are dealing with whatever's going on emotionally as well. But I think it's important for me to know or have an experience of getting something like this done as well um, so that I have an opinion on it. I think with anything, there's like extremes. Do I think you guys should be getting fillers at 22? No. Do I think you should be getting fillers in your 20s? I don't know. It depends on how well you took care of your skin. But I definitely think, you know, I would definitely do anything to prevent aging for as long as possible. And not aging totally, but age gracefully with a little help from science and technology whenever possible. So that's my take on the whole situation. Just be aware who you go to, guys. Like, be very, very aware who you go to. Look at reviews. Try and find another patient to um, talk to about it. Uh, definitely get a consultation with them if you feel at all weird with the doctor don't do it um, don't go to a medi spa for any sort of fillers or Botox go to a plastic surgeon or go to a dermatologist and not just anybody you want to go to the best in these situations and you want to vet them like crazy because you are letting them put something in your face if you have any questions at all, I'm very much open to discussing things with you guys. I have a newsletter that you get like maybe bi-weekly, monthly updates of what's been going on in my life. I write you guys emails like I'm writing to my friends and I also link a couple of my favorite posts or videos at the end and also the monthly giveaways are notified. I notify you guys through those emails. So when you hit reply on any of my newsletters or any of the emails you get from me, I read those emails. So if you have anything specifically about Sculptra, like if you have any questions and I think I can answer them, I will respond. And if I can't answer it, I try to respond as well, but just know I do my best to respond to as much as possible. It might take me a little bit of time, but I will respond to you. And if you have any questions, you know, Twitter is a great way to ask me and so is my Facebook page. Um, but definitely sign up for my newsletter. It's on my website, serenewoo.com. All I need is your first name and your email address, and I will be able to email and respond and communicate with you guys that way. It's everything I think I, I have 
to say about Sculptra. I hope you guys are still watching and enjoying this video. If anything, I just hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. If that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this channel and this community. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.